What's up everyone, it's Scotty with Money Vesting. So in this video, I wanted to go over Neo, Palantir, and Tesla. We used to do these videos where we used to club a lot of these different companies into one single video. So maybe we can bring that back if that's something that you are indeed interested in. So let me know the comment section down below if you want me to bring back some of the daily updates, daily analysis on these uh, very, very popular and somewhat interesting stocks here again just let me know and we'll make sure to do those videos maybe every day or once every other day uh but yeah so neo here rallying a little bit over 10 percent. there was a very specific stat that i want to go over over 98 percent of these shares we'll talk about that in just a minute so hope you guys enjoyed this video find it helpful if you do make sure that you drop a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time link to our discord patreon is going to be down below don't forget there is a 16 percent annual discount available till the end of this month that's going to expire after this month uh, goes away. And of course, the flash sale for the options course that you can also access with over 20, 25 different lectures and videos and learn options trading, generate income by selling options. And that coupon code is going to be launched with a 50% discount as well. So link's going to be down below for both of them. So well, it appears Chinese EV makers are still on cloud nine following the optimistic commentary from China's Poly Poly Polybro, the country's highest ranking decision-making body. As we talked about earlier in the week, and of course last week as well, they agreed that the country's economy performed notably well in the first six months of the year. According to Chinese state news, official even pointed out the resilience and the potential for Chinese economy uh, possesses. And it wasn't all peaches and cream. Officials acknowledge Chinese economy has some weak spots in the form of weak domestic demand, economic risks, and growing convoluted microeconomic environments as well. But nonetheless, they are looking at pushing uh, China's initiative and of course being more proactive in their green energy clean energy initiatives and the general tone of the meeting was undoubtedly optimistic and Chinese officials even vowed to pursue a more proactive economic policy that is going to be focused on green and clean energy as well which obviously did result in a lot of these uh, EV companies right especially Chinese EVs uh, to push higher quite substantially right so if you take a look at X Bank up 26% on the day at one point it was much higher but still trading at just a little bit under $20 very very strong move to the upside of course Neo up over 10 and a half percent after hours pushed higher even further up to $13 per share from its lows of uh, June 1st it has rallied a little bit over 90% and year to date now the stock's up 28% not to mention Lee Auto was also up 3.5%, almost trading back up to all-time highs as well. Now, when it comes to NEO, this right here is the average cost breakdown for the company. And what this basically shows us is the position cost distribution. And we will basically calculate this using 13 different exchange data. So this is very, very critical. And also not to mention very precise in the way that we can understand what's the average cost among all NEO shareholders and what percentage of shareholders are actually right now profitable on NEO stock. And this is probably for the first time I'm seeing over 98% of shares currently that are profitable on NEO with an average cost sitting at $10.23. Talk about dollar cost averaging. I think majority of folks plowed money into NEO in the seven bucks. This is incredible that's great to see that over 98 percent of shares are currently profitable and the reason why this is such good information is because if most of the people are actually profitable um, and of course believe in the long-term potential for that company because if you th really think about it right when there was a lot of capitulation there was a lot of exhaustion in the selling pressure most people that wanted to get out are already out and the people that are now in are mostly in, in my opinion, at least, are more long-term investors that want to see the company succeed over the long term. Um, and, and that really, you know, creates this dynamic that you may not see a lot of selling pressure when it comes to the price action itself, the volume, the liquidity, everything is there for Neo stock. And of course, majority of shareholders um, currently profitable on the shares over 98%. So average cost over $10.23. Now, that being said, we're also seeing for the first time in a very long time since uh, 2021, uh, November 2021, so almost two years, that NEO is not only breaking out of its 200 SMA, but also breaking out of its 300 simple moving average. And this right here is the falling wedge pattern that we were talking about for NEO, where it was just converging, 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 making lower highs and lower lows. So narrowing in on that uh, falling wedge, and then a huge breakout, of course, 
This is a reversal pattern, which is also discussed in our technical analysis course. But the next resistance really is going to be 1379. And I don't think after hours, we've actually broken out of that level. So we are at 1359. So this right here is going to be very, very important for NEO moving forward the remainder of this week. And if we do get a breakout above this 1379 level, the next level is going to be all the way up to this resistance at this lower high, sitting roughly at around $17 per share. So $16.95 to $17, because that's exactly where we have gotten rejected time and time again for NEO. So once, twice, three times. Now, the company still needs to figure out execution. As I've already mentioned, it's one thing to have a great idea. It's another thing to have proper execution and become profitable. So that is still... Uh, going to be a bit of a question mark for NEO. Can they actually turn the corner towards profitability? Can they continue to grow their revenues, their margins, their free cash flows, their deliveries? That's all going to be very, very important because right now, in my opinion, at least we're seeing this rally based on a technical reversal pattern. We're seeing this rally based on a significant amount of dollar cost averaging by long-term investments, uh, long-term investors. And then third, uh, by significant amount of short squeeze that takes place. And of course, a little bit of that macroeconomic uh, sort of a you know news and catalyst kind of mixed into that overall narrative as well. So that's really some of the reasons why Neo is rallying the way it is. But fundamentals eventually will be what dictates the price over the long term, and that's really what we need to focus on over the long term as well. Now talking about Palantir, Palantir has also been one of the best performers of 2023, up 149%. Resistance is going to stay put at $17. So this right here is going to be that level to watch for uh, for Palantir at the moment and. You can see that there is a little bit of a negative divergence for this company because we continue to make these lower highs, which obviously is not great from an RSI standpoint, and the price itself continues to make these higher highs uh, as well. So there is a little bit of that negative divergence playing through. The 21 EMA continues to act as a little bit of a support. So if and when we actually do see a bit of a breakdown below that 21 EMA of $16, I wouldn't be surprised if Palantir does give us a retest down to 1350. So that's going to be that next support level to watch. And of course, they do have earnings coming out in the second week of August. So Monday, August 7th is when they report their numbers. EPS at five cents per share. So they do report some nice profitable quarters with some good guidance. It is possible that we do see that acceleration to the upside uh, once again. But technically speaking, if you do get a breakdown below that 21 EMA, uh, next support is going to be 1350. And of course, earnings are what's really going to move the stock price and dictate where it goes eventually. Now, finally, coming over to Tesla here and Tesla on the day, very, very flat, not really moving all that much, but we're really seeing a lot of consolidation for Tesla. So uh, obviously, you know, it rallied over 6.6% second week of June, uh, then sold off a little bit, then rallied, then rallied on deliveries, uh, then basically pushed higher, then sold off on earnings week. Um, and then, of course, right now we're just consolidating sideways. So it's been very much sideways. It hasn't really moved much since uh, the first, second week of June. Um, so again, resistance is going to stay put at 275 to as much as 312. Those are going to be some levels to watch. And of course, support level stays put down to $240 to as low as low 200 for Tesla as well. As I've already mentioned, margins are a bit of an issue and a concern on Wall Street. But over the long term, I don't see them uh, as being a, a huge enough catalyst to bring the stock price down because the company is doing so many different things and the margins will eventually improve as their contribution mix comes from services, autonomous, FSD, solar, electric vehicles, um, and just, you know, robots, supercomputers. There's just a lot of things that Tesla is doing for the long term as well. So that's going to be the range. That's where we are right now. Resistance at 275 to 312, support level at 240 down to 228 for this company. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to continue with these daily, daily market updates on uh, these uh, these companies like Palantir, Neo, Tesla. Maybe I can include some of the other electric vehicle companies as well. Maybe there's some uh, more on the speculative side and more on the more volatile side, maybe not profitable at the moment side, right? Companies that do belong to that bucket. So let me know in the comment section below. As always, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're just joining us for the first time, link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below. Don't forget 16% annual discount and the option scores with a 50% off coupon code launch also available till the end of this month. As always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.